In 2020, Kanye West became the richest black man in the United States. And while estimates of his net worth vary, Bloomberg and Sky News both say he's worth a whopping $6.6 billion. So how did he do it? How does someone go from being a college dropout living with his mum to one of the most recognisable names in the world? Well, we'll get to Kanye the business mogul in a second. But you can't talk about Kanye's businesses without first talking about his music. Now, funnily enough, his journey into the music industry came quite by chance. At the age of 12, Kanye made a video game. The main character was a giant penis with little feet and eyes. And after spending months learning computer programming, he realised his game was missing a backing soundtrack. That's when, out of necessity, he started teaching himself how to produce music. As for his rapping talents, well, by 13 years old, he'd recorded his first track called Green Eggs and Ham. His mum, who always encouraged his creativity and talent, helped him to pay for time in the studio. And when I say studio, I really mean nothing more than a rundown basement. But that was more than enough to get Kanye hooked. In fact, his dream to become a music artist meant that despite having a scholarship at an art academy, he soon dropped out. He also dropped out from Chicago State University, where his mother taught English. That's how, at the age of 20, Kanye found himself living with his mum, who he paid $200 a month to in rent. And to support himself, he worked both as a telemarketer and also as a Gap employee during the day. And of course, it was late at night that Kanye would stay up doing his music. As he himself recounts, quote, I would be up until four in the morning, focusing on my dream and praying for the day where I could just do that all the time. His prayers and sheer persistence soon paid off. His first moment of validation came when he sold a beat to Chicago rapper Gravity for $8,000. Then, just a couple of months later, he tasted fame again when he sold another beat to Jermaine Dupri, a mainstream rapper. But that modest success was soon eclipsed when, after sending out hundreds of demos to producers all over New York, his talent caught the attention of rap's most dominant figure, Jay-Z. Jay-Z invited him into the studio where Kanye provided some of the most iconic beats for Jay-Z's Blueprint album. And from that, a production star was born. Pretty soon, he'd be producing beats for some of the biggest artists of the time, including Talib Kweli, Ludacris and Alicia Keys. But... Kanye wasn't happy, and he wasn't ready to settle. You see, his ambitions went far beyond just producing for other rappers. He was determined to break out on his own. The problem was, no major label was willing to give him a chance as a rapper. Everyone doubted him. Why? Well, for a start, they didn't think that he had a gangster enough appeal for the genre. As Jay-Z later recalled, quote, We all grew up street guys who had to do whatever we had to do to get by. Then there's Kanye, who, to my knowledge, has never hustled a day in his life. I didn't see how it could work. And that wasn't the only thing. Kanye's individuality and unique fashion sense was another factor that counted against him. With his pink shirts and Gucci loafers, it just didn't fit the image of a rapper. And Kanye could sense that the door of opportunity was closing on him. But as has been a common theme throughout his life, his persistence and unwavering belief in himself, even against all odds, just wouldn't allow him to give up on his dreams. His big break came in the most unlikely of ways. In 2002, Kanye fell asleep at the wheel and ended up in a head-on collision with another car. He suffered a shattered jaw, which had to be wired shut in reconstructive surgery. On top of that, he broke both of his legs. But as traumatic as the experience was, and this is an experience that may have ended many people's careers altogether, for Kanye, well, it became the jumping off point for his solo career. Keen to flip a negative into a positive, the experience gave birth to the song Through the Wire, which, as the title refers to, he recorded while his jaw was still wired shut. And look, if you ever need an example of Kanye's grit and determination, Through the Wire is it. Kanye paid for the video and did all of the promotion himself. When everyone was telling him he was just a producer, he was willing to put his own neck on the line to prove them wrong. The song went platinum and its success led to Rockefeller Records finally funding his debut album. The 
college dropout. And with that album, Kanye's fame as a rapper was finally secured. But again, despite finding success, he wasn't ready to slow down. He soon formed his own record label called Good Music and recruited John Legend and Common to drop records, which skyrocketed its popularity. Now, as successful as his rap career has been, Kanye wouldn't be a billionaire if he had limited himself just to music. Over the years, Kanye's transformed himself from an entertainer to a business owner, taking on a diverse portfolio of investments. In fact, far more of his wealth has come from investments than from his music. So what factored most heavily in his success? Well, that's easy, or should I say Yeezy? Launched in 2009 in partnership with Nike, Yeezys are Kanye's exclusive brand of sneakers. And just like everything that Kanye seemed to touch, they were a huge hit, flying off the shelves, retailing at $215 a pair. But despite the success of both the Yeezy 1s and the Yeezy 2s, Kanye would soon fall out with and leave Nike. He claimed the company weren't paying him the royalties that he was owed. The last pair of sneakers that he released under Nike were the Red October Air Yeezy 2s. Such was their popularity and so iconic were their status that today, those same sneakers retail on the resale market for thousands of dollars. And get this, the Yeezy 1 sneakers that Kanye wore to the 2008 Grammy Awards just sold for 1.8 million dollars. Now, after his partnership with Nike fell apart, which at the time he described as being quote heartbreaking, Kanye pulled off a very bold move. He reached out to competitor Adidas, and in 2013 they formed a relationship that would prove to be phenomenal. The popularity of the Yeezys have grown to such an extent that by 2019 they generated an impressive 1.3 billion dollars in annual revenue. That grew to to $1.7 billion in 2020. The royalties in 2020 alone netted Kanye about $191 million, which gives us an insight into why he fought so hard with Nike. But look, as iconic as Kanye's Yeezys are, that's not even his most lucrative deal. The highest earning deal he's signed so far? Well, that's come from the company he used to work for as a college dropout, Gap. The Yeezy Gap Balenciaga deal, valued at at least $970 million according to Bloomberg, is apparently Gap's way of trying to become more relevant among young millennials, a market share that's declined significantly over the years. The partnership is a team effort between Kanye and luxury designer Demna Givasalia, and their inspiration is to produce a clothing line that's urban but minimalist. At price points ranging from $120 to $440, it's supposed to be accessible for everyone but yet maintain high fashion. Now, whether or not the strategy works for Gap, well, it's unknown for now, but it certainly meant a huge cash windfall for Kanye. What's more, he also has a significant investment in ex-wife Kim Kardashian's Skims shapewear. Now, it's unclear exactly how much he invested in this business, but considering that it helped make Kim a billionaire, there's no doubt this was yet another smart move from Kanye. And the irony, of course, being that the same individuality and fashion sense that made him not be taken seriously as a rapper has now made him a billionaire. So what does he do with all his money? Well, when Kim and Kanye first announced that they were getting married, Kanye dropped about two and a half to three million dollars on the engagement ring alone. The wedding itself cost about 2.8 million dollars, and Kanye spares no expense when it comes to traveling either. He owns a double-decker Boeing 747. Yeah, that's right. His private ride is the size of a commercial jet. In fact, his plane can seat 660 people. And when he's not jetting around the world signing multi-million dollar deals, he's hitting the road in one of his many luxurious rides. His fleet includes a Maybach 57, a Lamborghini Gallardo, a Lamborghini Aventador, a Lamborghini Urus, and an Aston Martin DBS, to name a few. The entire car collection is valued at about $6.4 million. The truth is, Kanye may spend a fortune, but he's earned every penny of it. While estimates of his wealth do vary from $6.6 .6 billion to 1.8 billion and even as high as 10 billion dollars, there's no doubting that Kanye is extremely wealthy. And with the Gap deal just getting underway, who knows just how much more he'll earn in the future. As Kanye's mother used to say, quote, he's always been a very confident young man. And just look where that confidence has got him. From the first non-athlete to have his own shoe deal, to transforming the world of rap. 
there's perhaps no one else who could have pulled off what Kanye has and he shows no signs of stopping anytime soon. If you enjoyed this video you might also want to check out some of the other videos that are on screen now. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you on the next video.